we all know birds are great for the garden because they eat bugs, but they're fun to watch too. Okay, listen up. You don't want to miss this. If you want birds in your garden, just remember they have the same needs we do. Food, water, and shelter. And none of it needs to be expensive. For food, it can be as simple as using a milk carton and cutting out the sides, using a sharp knife, and leaving a lip at the bottom to hold the seeds. Add a hanger and you're done. The birds don't care what it looks like. Or you can use a wide mouth mason jar, a piece of a dowel, either fabric or a piece of uh, vinyl, glue it all together for this feeder. You may be tempted to buy mixed bird seeds to save a little money, but here in the southern U.S. at least, the birds tend to throw out the cheaper seeds to get to the sunflower seeds. So I just buy straight sunflower seeds and they really chow down on those. Now food is important, but a reliable source of water is important too, and it's easy to overlook. Let me show you something. Nothing against bird baths, but you don't need to spend money for a bird bath to give your birds water. You can use a simple tomato cage and a flower pot saucer. Sink the tomato cage into the soil, pop the saucer on top, fill it with water, and wait for the birds to come and drink or take a bath. Shelter is not a problem for most birds. Just get out of their way. The existing trees and shrubs work well for them to build their nests. I could be out in the garden scouting for pests right now, but I'd rather sit here and relax and let my pest control team do the work for me. Here's to you guys. Stubborn Old Gardeners comes from the Central Alabama Master Gardener Association. Move along now.